At work, 58-year-old Jane Seeger handles marketing and business relations for an agency that places caregivers in homes. At her home, she is the caregiver. I take care of my sister. She lives with my daughter and I. And she has end-stage multiple sclerosis. But she doesn't want her daughter to ever become her caregiver. I don't want her to use her own funds, and I don't want her, I don't want to have to live with her because I can't take care of myself. Seeger recently bought long-term care insurance to cover any of her own potential nursing home costs down the road. It's fairly reasonable. It's a lot less than health insurance. Um, I think I pay around $150 a month, so I could afford it. There is generally no guarantee that insurance rates won't rise over time, but waiting until your 60s or older to buy a policy will certainly cost you more. If you wait until you're 65 or 70, the bill will just, the cost for insurance will just keep escalating every year just because you're so much closer to needing the care and to receiving benefits from your policy. But long-term care isn't just about the money. 80% of care given to older adults in the U.S. is given by unpaid family members. Are you prepared to ask your children to take time off of work to cook you dinner? Are you prepared to have your grandchildren give you a bath or take you to the bathroom? What we have to realize is, is that it's necessary to think about what might the emotional impact be if you haven't made a plan. With or without insurance, long-term care requires careful planning. Sharon Epperson, CNBC Business News.